Welcome to this demo for the client risk assessment dashboard. What you see on your screen right now is the dashboard view to measure the risk of using your business clients. Now, this is the dashboard view. Uh, as you could see, uh, the first uh, top of the screen has the table view where you have the clients categorized in relationship priority. So how many clients would you rate as are of high priority to your business, how many are medium priority to your business, and how many are of low priority. Based on that, you get the client count. So as per the sample data, we have two clients as high priority, four as medium priority, and one as low priority. And then you get the average age of association for each uh, category. So 3.78 years is the average age of association for the two clients that you have in your high relationship priority. And then what is the total sales for those number of clients? So these two clients, for example, I just zoom the screen a little bit here for you. So if you could see these two clients in high priority give you an average sale, total sales of four and 430,000. So it could be in your currency. So here it's 4.30 lakhs or 430,000 Same for medium category and low category. And so what is their contribution to your overall revenue? So your high priority clients, two clients contribute almost 50% of your total revenue. So this is similarly high. So these are just indicators of should you focus on adding more clients in particular categories or should you look at converting medium category clients to high category clients. Now, coming to the risk score. So as for this dashboard, your risk score for your high category clients is 1.21, which is medium. Now we measure risk on a scale of one to three, three being the highest, zero being the lowest. So anything above one is categorized as medium risk. Anything above two is categorized as high risk. And anything less than 0 0.5 is categorized as no risk or none. So ideally you would want your category risk and your overall risk to be less than one. So either a low risk or zero risk. Anything above one means you need to intervene and ensure that you take certain actions to reduce your risk for each client, each category and your overall business. So as per this sample data, you have two clients in high priority. Their risk score is 1.21, which is medium. You have four clients in medium priority. Their risk score is 1.14, which is again a medium risk. And then you have one client in low priority. The risk score is 0 0.43, which is none. So your overall risk score for your seven clients put together is 1.06, which is medium. And then you get a breakdown of in each category. So H is for high, M is for medium, L is for low, and NA is for zero. So in your high priority category, you have two clients. One is in medium risk, one is in low risk. In medium, you have one in high risk, two in medium risk. This just gives you a break of, of your clients in each relationship priority. And then you have your action plan status because based on your risk score, you would have uh, decided on uh, implementing certain actions, certain activities. So what is the status of those activities? So as per this, three categories are in plan stage. One is in WIP, which is work in progress. Two have been completed and one is pending. So this is a dashboard view. This comes from the risk tracking template, which I will take you through. This is the main screen. Uh, sheet where you have to input details for each client. So here is your company logo, which you can replace with your company logo. The first column is the client name. So you have the client name, location, it could be country, state, city, whatever you would like. Startup association. So when was the first time this client started working with your business? So you enter the startup association, the tracker will give you the average age of association in years. So this first client has been with your business for 2.59 years. The last client has been with you for 1.34 years. This one is the youngest client, less than a year of association. Then you have your average sales. This you could uh, put it in average sales per month or average sales per year, depending upon the frequency of business that your company has with each client. And here you get the sum of the total average sales. And then basis that it calculates, the dashboard calculates the revenue contribution. So your first client contributes to 28% of your revenue. The second contributes to 21% of your revenue. This client contributes less than 8%. Ideally, it's good to have no client contributing to more than 10% 
of your overall revenue contribution. That way you de-risk your business if you lose a particular client. Then you have your account manager in case you have multiple people handling different clients. You can mention the account manager name and basis the revenue contribution, the age of association and uh, the prospective increase in sales or relationship. You decide the relationship priority for each client. So here it's a drop down high, medium, low. So as for this example, I have two clients in high category because they contribute to almost 50% of the overall revenue. And then we come to calculating the risk score. So there are multiple parameters. First is the revenue trend. So you first decide whether the revenue is increasing, constant or decreasing. If it is decreasing, we have a risk. Uh, then you get a risk score. So here we have the scoring. So in case of the revenue is decreasing, then you have a risk score of three, which is highest. If your revenue is constant, there is a zero rating. If it is uh, increasing, then you have a negative rating because then you have a lower risk, hence a negative to reduce the overall risk score. Then we have the second parameter, which is number of promoters. So number of promoters, promoters are people who are advocates within the client organization for your company. So people in the client organization who want to do business with you and who would be happy to refer you internally and externally. So again, a drop down whether you have zero promoters, one or two promoters or more than two promoters. So if it is more than two promoters, you get a better score. If you have no promoters, you get a lower score. Similarly, we have number of detractors. So ideally you would want to have zero detractors, but you could either have one or two or two plus. So two plus gets you a negative rating and it's highlighted in red. The third is number of complaints. So have you been receiving complaints from your client? If you're receiving complaints, then your risk score increases. So again, a drop down zero, one or two or two plus. Then opposite to complaints, have you received recognition or appreciation from your client? So again, a drop down. So if you receive appreciation, your risk score decreases. If you do not receive appreciation, your risk score increases. Then you have the payment status. So has a client been uh, paying your bills on time? Have they been irregular or have payments always been delayed? So if it is delayed, your risk score increases, as you could see in the scoring sheet. So in case of the payments are delayed, the risk score is three. If it is irregular, you have a risk score of one. If they're on time, there's a negative rating to reduce your overall risk score. Same goes for responsiveness. So is the client responsive to your calls, to your emails, to your meeting requests? any request for information. So again, either irregular, delayed or on time. So these are the parameters, uh, revenue trend, decreasing, increasing or constant, number of promoters and number of detractors, number of complaints, number of appreciation or recognitions from the client, payment status and responsiveness. So these all put together, get you your overall risk score and basis that you get your risk status alarm here. So if it is more than two, you have a high risk. If it is more than one, you have a medium risk. If it is between 0 0.5 and one, you have a low risk or less than 0 0.5, there is none or zero risk. So this gives you your risk status for your each client. And in the dashboard view, you get your overall risk score for each category and overall risk score for your business. So as per this sample, a business has a risk score of 1.06, which is categorized as medium risk. Now, the additional fields in the risk tracker are first your last review date. So ideally, you should review your client risk status either once every month or at least once every quarter. So here, if you haven't reviewed a particular client's health score for the last 90 days, the date is highlighted in red to just give you an alarm that it's time to go ahead and once again review the status of the client. Then any remarks that you want to mention, any action plan that you decide, for example, if you want to move a client from medium risk to low risk or from high risk to medium risk, what do you intend to do? So mention the action plan, the action plan owner and the deadline. The deadline is missed. Again, you see a red highlighting here and then you have an option to track your action plan status. So whether it's in a planned stage, work in progress, has it been completed, pending, cancelled, or anything else? And what is the next review date plan? Again, if you miss your next review date, it's get highlighted in red. So a pretty simple sheet which tracks the critical parameters 
to give you an overall risk score for each client, for each category, and for your overall business. So this gives you a fair view of the risk score of your business's revenue. Are you going to lose clients? So any client which comes under a high risk, somebody who's been uh, non-responsive to your requests and calls, somebody who's been delaying payments frequently, then those clients are at risk. They may be evaluating other suppliers. Hence, it's advisable that you monitor the risk status of each of your clients and of each category and of your business as a whole. Now, here you have an, a help sheet which describes the description for every field that's there in the tracker and a sample entry. So you could refer this before you start using it. Here you have the scoring guidelines. And once you download the tracker, it will be a protected tracker. All the formulas will be protected. If you want to edit it, customize it, then here you have the password. So you could simply go to review. You could go to unprotect sheet enter the password and make changes. If you have any queries, you can visit my website, fill up the contact form, and I'll be happy to answer any of your queries. If you have any feedbacks or any suggestions, do write in the comment section. And again, if you like the template, go ahead. Either you could make one or the download link is there in the video description. Go ahead, download it, use it, and de-risk your business. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel for more helpful business tools and videos. Thank you very much.